Let's take a look at this example. Let's say we are given the points A, B, C, and D with their respective coordinates. Now, if we want to find the gradient of A, B, we would say it's the difference of Y values over the difference of X values. So that would be 29, that's the Y of B, minus the y of a over the x of b minus the x of a now notice we are still subtracting even though it's a negative number that will become um, two negatives next to each other when we substitute which will become positive so that is 29 minus 9 which is 20 and 7 plus 3 because 7 minus minus 3 becomes plus, so that is 10. And then 20 divided by 10 is equal to 2. So the gradient of the line AB is equal to 2. Now similarly, to find the gradient of the line CD, it is the Y values, the difference in Y values over the difference in X values. So that would be 12 minus 14 in the numerator and then 5 minus 1 in the denominator. And if I simplify, 12 minus 14, that is negative 2. 5 minus 1 is equals to 4. And if I simplify, that's negative a half. So without drawing these lines or these coordinates, I can see that the line AB would be increasing, meaning upwards, because its gradient is equal to 2, which is positive, and the line CD would be decreasing, going downwards, because its gradient is negative. And if I multiply the two gradients, I have 2 multiplied with negative a half we shall produce negative one therefore we can conclude that the line a b is perpendicular to the line c d so if i draw a rough sketch i'll have a b which is increasing c d which is decreasing and then they would meet each other at 90 degrees. So let's look at our next example. Here we have the points A, B, E and F. And now we have four and a half as our X coordinate for F. But let's compare the gradient of AB with the gradient of EF. So the gradient of AB is the same as the one we had before. So it's the Y of B minus the Y of A. So that's the Y value of B. The Y value of A is 9. The X of B minus the X value of A. So that's 7 minus minus 3. And we discussed that this becomes positive 10. And then we simplify. So the gradient of EF would be the y of f minus the y of e over the x of f minus the x of point e. That will be 15 minus 10 over 4.5 minus 2. And when I simplify, I have 5 in the numerator and two and a half in the denominator and five divided by two and a half is equal to two. So we can see that both of these lines are increasing because they have positive gradients. So they would be increasing lines. And also because they have the exact same gradient, we can conclude that they are parallel lines.